everyone welcome to Eddie's corner I am so happy to be filming all right guys so today I have I think it's part one of three or four Sephora haul hauls um, I know at the beginning of the year I had a goal a no spend I was pretty good January February March but there are a couple of things I wanted to try now I am not going to keep everything for sure. I am not going to keep everything. The problem is when you go to Sephora, they're not stocked. They don't have, they even have missing, um, sample uh, testers. How do you have miss missing testers? I mean, that's, so I go to the store and it's like, there's nothing there. So the only way I can actually see it, smell it, feel it, swatch it is if I order it. So, you know, and um i hope they don't give me an issue returning stuff but then stock up your stores anyways all right guys here we go so i am going to haul let's see yeah let's do makeup because i have hauled a lot of um skincare but there's a little story behind that so I'm going to be as transparent as um, I am going to be transparent. So I'll tell you why I've gotten so much skincare. And, next, and it's really body care, but specific skincare and body care. Okay. So um, I am going to throw in a little bit of the um, 21 Days of Ulta. I did pick up some stuff in that Ulta sale. So. Yeah, I have some stuff in here. So I picked up Ofra highlighter. Now it's funny because every time, I think it's when, yeah, we, we or no, when we're on I-95 going north, I've always seen on the right-hand side, it's Ofra. Yeah, and it says Ofra Laboratories. And I'm like, is that the same um, brand of highlighters that, you know, Maybe like three years ago, I used to hear a lot about these. And when I saw it on the Sephora sale, I was like, oh, I mean, when I saw it on the Ulta sale, I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick it up. And when I look in the back, it says that the laboratories, so it says made in the USA by Ofra Cosmetic Laboratories, Pompano Beach, Pompano Beach. So look at that. All right. So I got mine in the color. Doesn't say it on the outside. Oh, oh my gosh, Rodeo Drive. Okay, and I've always heard that these highlighters are incredible. I really like the packaging. Wow, look at that! Wow. All right. I'm gonna swatch it. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is gorgeous. And it wasn't expensive at all. I think it's, yeah, magnetic. Wow, this is really pretty. It has a shelf life of, gosh, is that 24 months? I can't even see with the readers. Okay, guys. I, gorgeous. So I have a tan from last weekend. So let me see if I can swatch it here. Oh, wow. Wow. And it's, I want to say it's like a, oof, it is so smooth. It's not powdery. It's not, it's gorgeous. Wow. These are really nice. Okay. I'm going to start getting rid of boxes. So that I'm keeping for sure. Something else I picked up at the, I'm pretty sure I picked this up at, um, I don't think it was, it was part of the sale, but my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme in um, Extreme Black 01. This mascara is amazing. I'm not going to open it, but it is in this, um, for those of you who, it's, it looks like this. It has uh, the gold and dark blue 
lettering. So I'm going to keep that as a backup. And then I picked up because I literally, I just ran out. It doesn't go up anymore. It's done. Garbage. So I picked up three more. So part of the reason why I'm picking up a lot of stuff is um, my parents' condo in, in Naples, it's um, it's now available for us to enjoy. Um, there are snowbirds um, left. So um, I left some stuff last weekend I went. I left some stuff, especially for my um, son and I. We left our shampoo, brushes, deodorants, stuff like that. Um, so I want to leave a little makeup case so I don't have to worry about my makeup. So definitely this is going to go one of these and yeah. Okay. So as far as, um, I think that's all I picked up at Ulta. So I picked up another, um, Gucci, uh, lip liner. And I am so glad I did because this is sold out. Um, this is number one. This is nude. Uh, it's what I have on today. Let's... I love, look at that. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. There's some birds playing out there. So um, again, I'm going to take this one to my parents' condo and I'll use the new one here. So, um, Kosas, I picked up a couple of things from Kosas. The first thing I saw, and I don't know if this is new, but I picked up the Kosas, the Sun Show Glowy Warmth Baked Bronzer in Beachy. This is supposed to be light, medium bronze. It's a clean, talc-free bronzer for soft, glowy warmth with the prettiest subtle sheen. Baked in Italy. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Well, I hope I'm keeping it. It just it had a very pretty packaging. Ooh. Nice. Wow. Okay. I'm going to swatch this for you. So I'm going to swatch it on tan skin. There's a little bit of sheen. And then I'm going to swatch swatch it oh my gosh that's gorgeous wow okay you know what i only used on this look i only have the chanel cream blush stick on but i might hmm i might what's oh it's really powdery look at that Ooh. I like your regular baked formulas. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to... Ugh. I'm just tapping it on my skin first. So... Hmm... Okay. Keeper. Okay, I picked up three of their, what is this called? Airbrow Tinted Volumizing Treatment Gel. Okay, I picked it up in soft brown and I picked up two in honey blonde. I'm going to give my niece one of these. She's a strawberry blonde girly. And then because my hair... It depends on, obviously these are highlights. I was a redhead when I was small, but I don't know what happened. Um, so I picked up this light color. I've already tried it. I love how it looks on me. I really like it. And then the soft brown, because I have brown hair. And I also picked up the Kosa Soft Brown um, Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil Crayon. Okay. Oh, how pretty. 
it brings a brush at the end. All right. Oh, you know what? I just realized it doesn't really bring a lot of product. Ooh. Huh. It's it just goes up to here. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. Am I going to keep it? I didn't realize how little product this actually brings. Okay, guys. It brings 0 0.002. Let me compare it to my NYX, which brings... Does it say how much it brings? 0 0.003. Yeah, no way. This brings more than this, but this is a lot more expensive. So this is going back. You see how simple that is? Okay. That's going back for sure. All right. But these, I love these um, uh, brow gels. They're amazing. I picked up four and Okay, so I picked up the Kosas. Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. I love this stuff. I, you know, this is what I have on today. As you can see, I use this. I think I have, I think I have this much left. And sometimes when I have a good skin day, I like using that one um, all over just to touch up and, you know, so i purchased let's see i am usually the color 4n so i purchased the small one they have the travel size ones now which i think are great so i know i like this oh my god look how adorable oh my goodness so just for comparison size this is the mini these are the same colors even though this looks a little darker all right so this one's going to the apartment and I purchased a backup from Anastasia Beverly Hills I also picked up the brow freeze oh my gosh so I have the one from elf which is amazing but I also do I have this one gosh no, I don't remember but I love this stuff It's nice and tacky okay so this i saw this and oh my goodness i love a color so this is the anastasia beverly hills lip gloss in deep taupe okay i love cool nude like with a purpley undertone guys It's really liquidy. Okay. Look at this color and look at the sparkle. It has some, I know it has micro glitter because when I swatched it in the store, I could see the, the glitter. gorgeous okay so i'm definitely keeping this one here i'm so tempted to buy another one this is beautiful deep taupe okay okay because this color oh my goodness this color is gorgeous this is the cool neutrals all right maybe i got it and i was so mad i just said you know what forget it so it's the Dior. These colors are, I need to be careful. No, nothing's coming. Look at this. Wow. Look at these colors. <laughs> gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Let me swatch this one. And this one. Oh, 
oh my goodness gorgeous okay that's going to stay here i'll play with that i went ahead and i purchased the oh this is not sephora but this is straight from the um charlotte tilbury website the matte beauty blush wand easy liquid blush pillow talk oh god she needs to get rid of that pillow talk name in pillow talk <laughs> okay so this color i think i swatched this already because i couldn't wait to see what it looked like yes wow okay look at that how beautiful is that okay and i will do a swatch i have three colors there's one I don't have because it's too reddish, so I didn't, red doesn't look good on me. All right, so I got that. I also picked up a Charlotte Tilbury Classic Brown. It's the Classic Eye Powder Pencil. I love these. I have I love MAC and I love Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners. This is amazing. Also purchased the Mini Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. Wow, that's a mouthful. It's, these people, these companies need to relax with the names in medium, okay? So, I bought the mini size. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay. So, oh my God, this is so soft. Oof. Okay, so this is going with me over there. I want to keep a mini one. I think that's the perfect size. All right. Oh, so I also purchased the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party All Night, Stay All Day. This stuff is, I love it. So I figured, oh, this is, is it glass? No, it's just heavy. So let's see if this one opens. No, these don't unscrew. Fudge. Anyways, my small one, this thing, it's not working anymore. I don't know what happened. Um, maybe they'll return it at Sephora. But anyways, so this is staying here for sure. I love this stuff. Love it. And it smells. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I didn't put any setting spray today. Guys, it smells amazing. I love it. Okay. So that I'm keeping. Um, I also purchased, I think I hauled this already. This was before the sale though. The Westman Atelier in uh, Dudu. Yes, I think I hauled it. And I am going to... Yeah, I did. Because I even swatched it. But definitely... That's a pretty color. I want to do a swatch. I know I'm going to keep it. I'm going to throw this away, the box. All right. Um. So, guys. These were... I don't know. Kaja? Where are my glasses? Okay. So the Kaja brand, I have always seen these and always wondered. I always thought it was such a great idea, you know, to just take and go. And so this is the Beauty Bento Bouncy Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio. I got mine in Orange Blossom and Neutral Moments. Neutral Moments. Okay, so I just love the packaging. It's so cute. So you've got, oh my goodness. You've got that color. I guess that's the orange. Oh, <laughs> and the brown. Okay. She loves these shadows and they look, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is Orange Blossom. Okay, keeping that one for sure. 
and she swears by these and these have been out for a long time long long time i just never i was like eh. that i'm keeping for sure this is the which one is this neutral moment okay so i'm guessing these are more um these are matte How pretty this packaging is. Let's take this. Yeah, these are matte. Ooh, so soft. It's like a baby's butt. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's just, I'm keeping this one too. Look how beautiful. So this is orange blossom and this is neutral moment. Really nice. Love the packaging. Very nice. Keeping that. As far as makeup, I have one more item. Obviously, I have not received my online orders. So, hmm. Yes. I, I saw this at the store. I swatched it. I think I saw Michelle Wong um, open this up and I think it was, she was the one that said, if you have oily skin, skip it. Or was it Ali Andrea that said that? I'm not sure which one of the two said that. So I said, ah, forget it. Cause I have oily, um, I have an oily T-zone. But when I went to the store and I touched it and I, and I swatched it, and I know immediately when something is going to like just slip on my face and it's going to be like an oil slick. I felt this and I didn't get that impression. So this is the Makeup Forever Professional Paris HD Skin Palette Sculpting Palette. No, I started to read it in French. <laughs> face Sculpting Palette. Now, am I a makeup artist? No. Do I do my mom's makeup sometimes? Yes. Um, do I love my MAC sculpting palette in powder? I love that palette. So I do use face palettes. And if you look at the colors, again, the packaging is so, it's like a tin. Uh, so how do you open this? Okay. I mean, this looks like, this is adorable. They got me at the, on the packaging too. Guys. All right. So, so right off the bat, I can tell that these look like they're highlighters. Okay. These look like they're highlighters because if, I'm not sure you can tell if like, depending on the light. And then these are, they don't have that shimmer. So these are highlighters for sure. This is, this looks something that I will use as a contour, especially on my nose. Um, then these, you can just play around with these. And the great thing about this is it has a good shade range. Cause my mom, you know, I can, I guess I'm neutral. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what my undertone is. I always go for beige neutral some somewhere in between but i don't know if i'm olive golden undertones neutral pink any of that so i i play around with stuff my mom though she is my mom like she's this color her skin is she's got a beautiful dark caramel color so this is going to be good for her too um let me swatch let me swatch a highlighter Now, this is, it's funny because when you swatch it, it looks pink, right? But here, it looks gold. And then let me swatch, let me swatch this. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. <gasps> Ooh. So... 
when I start to play with it in my fingers and between my fingers, yes, it's emollient, but it's not greasy. Okay. And look how pretty this. Hmm. Oh wow, that is pretty. You could, I, I bet you could do a whole look with this. You can use these as cream eyeshadows too. Probably. All right. I'm gonna keep it. It wasn't cheap either. Mm. Am I gonna keep it? I'm gonna leave it back in the box. I will think about this one. But I do love how it feels. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll put a pin on, we'll put a pin in it. <laughs> All right, what else? Guys, I think that's it. So this is one of three or four, but I'm, let's see. I'm returning two things for sure. This, I'm not sure yet, but okay, this is a good start. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. If you like these kinds of videos, please check out all my other videos. Like, subscribe, comment. I respond to my comments. I know I have a few comments out there I haven't responded to. I've been a little busy with work, and but I'm back. <laughs> uh, well, next weekend, um, I'm going to be going out of town like for two and a half days. But maybe I'll vlog that trip. Hmm. We'll see. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Take care. Mwah. Bye.